So it might be a while before we know exactly what pitcher the Yankees are getting back. He'll obviously be on a pitch count tonight, and just like in April, it might take him some time to return to full effectiveness. But his breaking ball was a real showstopper over his last six starts before getting hurt. And these numbers in those outings are our Kia key to the game. Yesterday, he talked about the process of getting himself sharp as he looks to return. Yeah, I think, um, you know, I think I said yesterday, I think it's it's always a, a work in progress, whether it's, you know, coming off of a few rehab starts, whether it's 15 starts in the year, whatever it might be. Um, but I think it's, you know, the way I feel is it's it's identifying what the pitches are doing each day and, and then trying to corral that to to go out there and execute a game plan and you know, execute quality pitches. And I feel like I'm at a point in time where I can do that right now. Thank you, Corey. Can you go next to Brendan Cuddy? Corey, what's encouraged you the most about your rehab assignment and, and what you've been able to do so far in that? Um, you know, I think first and foremost, the health side of it, the way I felt bouncing back, um, the way I felt while I'm out there, uh, all that kind of stuff puts your mind at ease, I guess, that, you know, the the injury isn't an issue anymore, so to speak. I mean, I think that's first and foremost in a rehab assignment. But then going out there and, and executing pitches to different parts of the strike zone, you know, the way you want, things like that. Um, you know, everybody would like res perfect results every time out, but I think that, you know, you to have perspective and, and realize that that's not probably the goal. I think that there's, there's more to it than just that. So I think, you know, knowing, I guess, kind of having a, a feel for where you want to be as yourself and what you want to do on the mound and, you know, I feel like I got to that point.